Ciao. Hello my Tauruses, welcome, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your love reading for August. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. So first of all, we have the Nine of Air, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. Then we have the Emperor, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So there's two different scenarios here. It seems in one area of your love situation, you're expecting the worst. And in another area of your love situation, you're taking control. Perhaps you were expecting the worst, but you're stepping forward now and taking control in the situation in order to bring beauty and bounty your way. Whatever it is, there is healing coming here to this situation. Perhaps after a Ten of Swords moment, and or maybe this healing is going to help you, help you Avoid the Ten of Swords moment and bring healing to the situation you're in. Temperance, the divine working in the background to bring about the beauty in you that you seek from others. We have this wading through a pool of emotional times before you get to solid ground in a relationship. And it's divinely guided this happened because I think that you know, Perhaps you guys need to step more into your emotional heart space as opposed to your head space. We have the four swords here. So someone's healing, taking time to rest, maybe taking a vacation this summer. You know, taking time to breathe, take it all in. There's been an ending here, or you could be dealing with scorpionic energy. This Eight of Swords energy is a self-imposed prison. It's like we stick ourselves there because we're afraid to move forward. We're afraid of the outcome, definitely with a soulmate. Or this could be regarding your children as well. And you could even have a Scorpio child. Perhaps it's an ending, something to do with your children, or a soulmate could be Virgo. Going inward, definitely, to find clarity. Find out, figure out how it is you got here and which way, how you're going to move forward. Asking for the, asking the divine for clarity in the situation. I definitely see you're going to put in the work. That's for sure. You're going to buckle down and get the work done, whatever it is. You're not afraid of hard work. We have the Ten of Cups here. This is something you thought would bring you absolute emotional fulfillment. And then we have a new offer, an Ace of Wands opportunity that could bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and healing, I might add, because it's something that you get to be passionate about and put your energies and emotions into. It's a wish granted, something you've hoped for for a while, waited for for a while is finally going to come to fruition. It's going to help you walk away from emotional turmoil. That's what this Nine of Cups is going to do. Help you walk away from the emotional pain of whatever you've been struggling with. Oh yeah. And bring about a very, very happy outcome. In Leo season yet, I see that's coming with the healing here. Walking away from emotional stress and turmoil brings healing. And a very happy outcome, leaving rough times behind and heading to smoother sailing waters and a big old ace of pentacles, which is why you're buckling down and getting the work done. So perhaps someone that you thought it was ended with is going to come back and let you know that it's not quite ended. There's that new cup. You get to fill however you choose. There is a lot of beauty here for people that, for a Taurus that I'm reading for who's been all up in their head with self-fulfilling prophecies. Well, perhaps you turned that frown upside down, decided to take control of the situation, caused an ending yourself. That's entirely possible because you went inward and asked the divine for clarity about what to do. And perhaps you caused an ending yourself in order to take control of the situation and 
out of that ending comes a brand new offer a offer in finances if you've been putting the work in towards other things an offer in emotions something you can really attach your emotions to and feel happy and beautiful about that all coming your way an offer in passion perhaps someone's like what are you doing ending it I love you why are you ending this because you want to walk away from emotional turmoil well can, why don't we just communicate and work on it together you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts please don't allow insecurities to hold you back what's this about divine Someone stepping into their life purpose. Perhaps you needed to let go for a little bit in order to find it. There's a temporary pause here in your life purpose energy. It's about cutting out the BS and doing what's fair and just and balanced for everybody. Yeah, and that's very much emperor energy as well, saying I'm not going to take less than I deserve. What's this marriage card about? A truth being spoken? Ah, oh, about shady behavior. So the divine is stepping in to actually help your marriage or your relationship, however it is you feel married to something or someone, relationship-wise. Let's see what we get from the hidden realms here. We have the Swan Queen. Let's read about this. Card number 13. The Swan Queen glides your way and asks you, I'm sorry, the Swan Queen glides your way and asks that you look at the re your reflection in the events of your life. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. The Swan Queen lets you know that it's time to go within and seek the answers in your own intuition. Don't look outside yourself for answers now. The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now is the moment to meditate and ask for your vision. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you and the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your query to find the answers you seek. This is also a reminder to allow time to transform ideas into reality. Nothing happens overnight. As a challenger, when the Swan Queen appears to challenge you, it's time to stop doubting your inner voice don't let your analytical mind prevent you from seeing the miracles that spirit places in front of you. Another message the Swan Queen shows you in the mirror of your life is your fear of change. Why fear what's inevitable? Everything in life changes and transforms from one moment to the next. Holding on to the past only distorts the, and mangles the na natural order of things. If you can, in spite of your fear, be gently with yourself and allow for change only beauty will come of it most important a shift in perception is what's called for now so you're looking at something in one way and the shift in perception is this that's what I truly see here it's about this beauty that's going to come your way in changing this perception and taking control of the situation for you brand new offers or starts within a situation already some you're either going to choose to work on it or choose to work in a different way that brings beauty here and this is beautiful and you have the angel of marriage and communication on this with you so you do not walk this path alone my Taurus friends you do not you have guidance you have the divine here holding your hand and giving you intuitive nudges all along the way so make sure you pay attention to number synchronicities to all of those sorts of things Someone, some, something someone says to you out of the clear blue that's like, oh, hey, I was just thinking about that the other day. That's an intuitive nudge, okay? I'll talk to you guys again soon. Blessings to you and have a great rest of your August.